In a career that spans more than 40 years, Bill became the face of trauma care and retrieval medicine in South Australia. I have no doubt his work, particularly his overseas mission, came with a personal toll. Long hours under very challenging conditions and every day making decisions that could be the difference between life and death. I thank you for your selfless dedication, your extraordinary skill and knowledge, and your commitment to saving the lives of so many, many people. I would like to take the opportunity to acknowledge on behalf of Central Adelaide Local Health Network the significant contribution you have made to the fabric of the Royal Adelaide Hospital and Central in all its various iterations over your 40 year career. The presence of such an illustrious group of health, police and emergency service leaders shows the high regard that Associate Professor Griggs is held amongst his professional peers. At 19 years of age, as a young medical student, he witnessed a car accident on, on North Terrace, uh, which spurred him to enrol in a, as in a St John's Ambulance First Aid course and led him to signing up as a volunteer paramedic. Over your career, you've made us all safer. Beyond your career, your legacy will enhance our safety for years to come. So Bill's personal knowledge of the environment that many of the hospitals worked under, there may be at night time at two o'clock in Woodner, there may be one doctor and one enrolled nurse. Bill knew who worked out at Woodner. He knew the capacity of that particular hospital, the staff around him. He could understand the logistical problems, the weather, and because of his experience about the local conditions, the clinicians involved, and what was involved in getting help to those locations, all of us found that confidence and that knowledge that Bill had was going to make this outcome for these patients and their families the best possible outcome. Everyone's talked about what Bill's done over the period of time and there's no doubt that he's accomplished uh, far more than most people get to do in a lifetime. Um, from the humble beginnings of the retrieval service uh, from MedStar back in 2009 uh, to where we are today through his time through the, uh, the ambulance service. It's, uh, it's hard to measure what Bill's accomplished in his years. It's uh, something that uh, will be lived on for, for many years. He's, uh, he's not leaving us, he's just done his time now and he's passed on the baton to, to the rest of us. I remember having a conversation with Bill after my shooting. Uh, I'd been lying on the ground for three hours, bleeding continuously for three hours. Uh, Bill got to me um, and obviously saved my life. About three to six months later, I went to see Bill in the hospital, just to say thank you to him for what he had done for me. And, um, and he said to me, Derek, do you realise how close you got to death? And I said, well, not exactly, I know it was close. And he said, well, when I first got to you, I didn't actually think you were alive. And I thought, well, there's nothing we can do. But he then said, you took this last gasping breath. And I thought, well, maybe there's something we could do. And I thought to myself, thank you very much. <laughs> But what Bill didn't say to me at that time, and I had to piece together, is that at that time he was standing in direct line of fire from where the shooter was. He was still shooting. The bullets were whizzing around his ears at that time. I think it speaks volumes about his extreme dedication to the job that he's taken on, not just in this incident, but in every incident that he goes to. So Bill, I thank you. I thank you most sincerely. I say thank you, Bill. So thank you, Bill, for all you've done. For myself and for all your other patients to say thank you in a way that everybody would like to. Thank you.